Hello. In this section, we will ex explain the string function in cylindrical coordinates through an example. So consider a line vortex defined as steady planar incompressible flow in which the velocity components are ur is equal to 0 and u theta equal to k over r, where k is a constant. Derive an expression for the stream function and prove that the streamlines are circles. So first, we will write the continuity equation, of course in cylindrical coordinates, for incompressible flow. For incompressible flow. So we have 1 over r, del over del r of r u r, plus 1 over r, del over del theta of u theta plus del over del z of uz. Since here we have a planar velocity, then the axial component of velocity uz is equal to zero. And if we multiply this equation by r, we'll obtain del by del r of r u r and del by del theta of u theta is equal to zero. Now we can define the stream function such that ur is equal to 1 over r of del psi by del theta and u theta is equal to minus del psi by del r. So we can easily verify that these stream functions verify the continuity equation by substitution. So we'll have del by del r r u r is del theta uh, del psi by del theta and minus del by del theta of u theta which is del psi over del r so if you can see that the subtraction of these two expression will be equal to zero and the continuity equation is satisfied Now let's try to obtain an expression for Psi. So if we say that del Psi by del R is equal to minus U theta, which is equal to minus K over R. So we partially integrate with respect to R to obtain Psi. So Psi is integral of minus K over R dr, which is equal to minus K ln R plus F of theta. Then we partially differentiate this expression with respect to theta and it will be equal to del f by del theta and del psi by del theta is just r into ur and ur is equal to zero then f in this case will be equal to a constant and this can be any constant as we said before so for simplicity we will take this constant to be equal to zero since what matters is for a stream function the difference in value of psi and not the value of psi so psi in this case is equal to minus k into ln r so let's try to sketch the stream function so for example we will take uh, k equal to 10 meters square per second then we can say that r the radius is equal to exponential minus psi over k which is equal to 10 so for example if we take psi is equal to 0 we'll obtain r is equal to exponential 0 which is equal to 1 so r is equal to 1 is just the equation of a circle with a radius equal to 1 so the streamline that has a psi equal to zero is just a circle with a radius equal to one. So let's draw this circle on an x y coordinate system.
so the radius is equal to 1 and this circle has psi is equal to 0 so the tangential velocity u theta along the streamline is equal to k over r 10 over 1 which is 10 meters per second and theta is positive counterclockwise so the flow is uh, as you can see is to the left so let's take another value of psi psi is equal to 4 for example so r is equal minus exponential of minus 0 0.4 which is equal to 0 0.67 So now we'll draw a circle with a radius equal to 0 0.67. And this circle has the streamline uh, psi equal to 4. Then the tangential velocity along the streamline is equal to k over r, 10 over 0 0.67. which is equal to 14.92 meters per second so as you can notice that the tangential velocity is increasing as we move toward the origin of the xy axis so as the radius decreases the tangential velocity is increasing another value of psi we take it uh, 8 so the radius is exponential of minus 0 0.8 which is equal to 0 0.45 so before drawing the circle let's see how the radius is changing so the radius first here between the circle with the radius equal to 1 and the circle with the radius 0 0.67 the difference in radius is 0 0.33 and between the radius 0 0.67 and the radius 0 0.45 the change in radius is 0 0.22 so that means that the streamlines are getting closer and closer to each other. However, the change in the streamline value is constant or the incremental uh, increase in the streamline is constant which is equal to 4. So we are in increasing the value of psi by an equal amount which is equal to plus 4. So let's draw another streamline with the psi equal to 12. So R will be equal to exponential of minus 1.2 which is equal to 0 0.3 Then the change in the radius between Psi equal to 8 and Psi equal to 12 is just equal to 0 0.15 So of course this streamline gets closer and closer to the previous streamline so here we have the streamline for psi equal to 12 and the difference a radius between psi equal to 8 and psi equal to 12 is just 0 0.15 okay so what I want to show you is that the change in the value of psi here is 4 so we are increasing the value of uh, psi by an equal amount which is equal to 4 and as we said that the change in value of psi is equal to the volumetric rate per unit width so the q over b is constant between every two streamlines so q between each two streamlines is equal to a constant so the volumetric rate is equal to constant between each two streamlines however the area between 
the two streamlines, which is proportional to the change in radius, is decreasing. So the streamline are getting closer to each other. So if the area is decreasing, the velocity should increase in order to obtain the same volumetric rate. So the two are inversely proportional. So if delta r is decreasing, the velocity should increase in order to conserve the same volumetric flow rate. Of course, we are talking about the cross-sectional area of the flow, the area perpendicular to the flow direction. So if we see that two streamlines get closer to each other, that means that the velocity in the flow field is increasing. So if we, for example, take converging streamlines, that means we have acceleration in the flow field. And if we have diverging streamlines, So the area is increasing, it's like a diffuser. We'll have a deceleration in the flow field and the velocity will decrease. So also, of course, this is verified in the example when we calculated the U theta. It has increased from 10 meters per second to 14 meters per second.